So learning objective number six, prepare the shareholders equity section of the balance sheet and calculate return on equity. Okay. So on the balance sheet under the equity section, you are going to have one, um, one part called contributed capital. So normally contributed capital will have two components. One is called share capital. This is the money the shareholders contribute to the corporation when they first incorporate this company. Contributed surplus, um, is that when because the, the, the market on the market because the share price changes all the time, right? So the company sometimes will go there buy or sell the shares because of this market is is fluctuating, right? So therefore, sometimes you may buy cheap, sell high, buy low, sell high, that you make money, right? So that money you make would be considered as contributed surplus. So when you buy low and sell high, you are making money. That money is not revenue because selling shares is not your normal activity of business. So when you are selling the shares, the gain right, of the share is called a contributed surplus, okay? Contributed surplus. Return earnings, we just mentioned about this, right? We just mentioned about this. So if you take a look at this, this is a partial um, balance sheet, right? So this is only showing the shareholders equity. So you can see that you have share capital. Share capital is $6 non cumulative preferred shares. 50,000 shares authorized, 6,000 issued. So the dollar amount of insurance is 770,000. Common shares, unlimited share authorized, $400,000 shares issued, 2.8 million, right? So you have one preferred share class, you also have one common share class. And now you know there's no contribution surplus. Your total capital is 3.57 million. And the return earnings is 1.05 million. In total, I have shareholder equity as $4.62 million. Does this make sense? Does this make sense? How the equity section look like on the balance sheet? Okay. So return on equity, right? Return on equity, also called return on investment, return on investment. So what you're gonna do is you use your profit, you use your profit, your net profit, right? your net profit, divided by average shareholder equity. So that will be the beginning balance, plus ending divided by two, that's the average, right? So if you say average shareholders equity, you take the day one and the, the last day, day 365, that two numbers take average. That is, you profit divided by average shareholders equity, that is the equity return on equity. So we are done today. Uh, do, does anyone have any question? On Thursday, we finished the lecture. On Thursday, we are going to work on some problems.